All right, guys. So back to the map number four. Vela from Huge Academy Nord and Claire against Claire France from Marco Team Paris. With, with uh, Claire on top here. Sorry, Claire on the bottom is on the deep up guard. Start already coming on the deep up guard. Claire in white gear and Vela in blue gear. Claire's getting like in a position here, putting uh, Vela in a little bit of a awkward situation here. But um, she recorded really well. Very good transition from Venla here. Changing to the other side, control the head. And, um, but the foot, Claire's foot kind of stuck. Uh, Venla's foot stuck there. Very well done by, by Claire. A la Celso Vinicius. Favorite positions and also look as late. Don't use the lapel nice and deep and control to the other side. You can see uh, Valen's foot very stuck there. It's kind of a, 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 a toe hold kind of concept that so it's very hard to take it off. Vela getting herself twisted to kind of counterbalance what Claire is trying to do by turning the hips. But the foot is kind of stuck in a funny way that you need to be careful with the knee because, you know, Vela's knee is kind of stuck over there and it can twist. It's not very pleasant if you twist it wrongly. Vela managed to escape the foot with a lot of pressure, putting Claire in check over here. Claire fighting everything that she could to avoid the pass, but um, the referee award, awarded Vela with the three points. Both fighters with a lot of pressure. In the back position to Vela. Very good position, but that gives as well the half guard for Claire, which seems to be having a well recovered. But um, Vela got the points, the four points for the for the back mount. For who start getting to know the the, uh, the scoring system, if the person mounts from the back, even though you don't have the hooks in. Uh, is also four points, and if she put, if she would have put the hooks in, it would be plus four. So on that kind of movement, she could have scored three from the pass, four from the back mount, and plus four from the back take. And that would be a big advantage. But the back take was really well defended by Bella. Vela is doing really well in this position. Claire is still st uh, trying to see some the same game plan, which I think is kind of uh, a little bit... She needs to change a little bit because Vela already pictured what she was is able to do. That's five minutes and 35 seconds. Vela applying a lot of pressure with that left grip around the back. Claire is turning everything to the deep half guard. But that's giving the opportunity to take the back there. That's a little bit of a little bit of dangerous. That is a sweep now from, from Claire. Yeah. 
the way that um, Claire twists her hips and upper body is so effective, you know, because she creates a torque on the completely opposite direction where Vela wanted to be and generate a lot of tension, which stopped the position that Vela had to do. Now we have all inverted scenarios here now. Claire, that was playing half of the match on the bottom of the deep half of that position, now spray on top. So you see, be able to see what the, the girls has on opposite directions. Claire, that's uh, well known by her half guard and bottom positions, and Velen, very well known as a pressure passer. So they play. They plan these. Let's see how this goes. Very with in blue, the close guard. Getting to the high close guard. Threatening. Then try to cross the Claire's arm to the other side so she can get off balance. But the, the elbow, that's the key, you know, like for example, if Vena was controlling the collar with the left hand, but Claire's elbow, see, that's the, what needs to be moved. That collar, it can be grabbed, but she needs to push the elbow away. And, and Claire, on the other hand, have to put pulling the elbow back, so don't allow, there we go, that's the, the main concept on that battle. Claire setting up the, the Tozzi pass here. A pass that uh, Alexander Trans is very well known for. Claire is like, that's the thing, you know, like when you go for the toss pass, you have to put that right hand, the Sao Paulo pass or whatever people say, the arm gets stuck a little bit, so you get a little bit limited in the movement. And then that's, um, it's kind of a double sword situation. You give to take something, but Vela uh, is doing really well holding a close guard and with the arm wrapped. And um, Claire wrapping the lapel from the back around the waist to try to get tension to go to the left side, but um, Ben is doing really well keeping and the time passes and this kind of pass takes longer pressure and Claire doesn't have much time to, to play with him. Both girls use a lot. Due to many of the fighters not be able to fight the worlds because this is a situation, you know, uh, people from Russia, Chechnya, Brazil, you know, uh, able to showcase here to the world on the second biggest tournament in the whole world in, in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So Claire here trying to give it all to try to stand up. She's doing the right thing right now. She needs to fight for it, give it all to open up the guard and pass to hope for a She's got some point, but um, Vela is doing well there, holding close guard, uh, stopping the posture, threatening with the armbars, making uh, Claire always back off a little bit. Vela is trying to push a lot of, uh, Claire trying to do a, like less, less 30 seconds, trying to put pressure in a choke. She want to open it how. Vela is giving all to keep the guard closed. Twenty seconds to go. Claire need a pass and a mount to be between this fight. Yeah. 
Venable trying to push it really well. Now she opened up, she says the time, and not much that she can do. She just, you know, doing a great position here. And it's the end of the match. Venable passing on to the next round. Tough match. Victory from Bella Academy Good North. Tech. I will jump, guys.